you are killed and you're white, you're most likely going to be killed by a white person. And if you're killed and you're black, you're most likely going to be killed by a black person. Zimmerman wasn't black. Excuse me, I have the floor. And but you're just saying stuff. No, I'm not saying stuff. I'm sitting right here looking at U.S. News and World Report, and it's, it's information on... Fake news. Fake news. Thanks. Senator, you're out of order. Oh, wow. So? Well, so, Senator? What? Regardless of what you've said and how you've said it, everyone has respected you when you had the floor. And you're going to respect the rest of us when we have the floor. Don't tell me what I'm going to do. Don't tell me what I'm going to do, Nate. You want to pull the gun out and shoot me, you're going to do that. But don't tell me what I'm going to do. I'm upset. And you ought to be able to respect that. I mean, I'm the only one that looks like me that has this car. I'm the only female in here. I have a son. I live in a county where killings are just routine. I live in a county where people from the north, where Ballinger's from, come down there, open carry. For what purpose? But to threaten. I don't understand this. And if you want me to leave the room, I'll leave. But I want to vote first. As I was saying, ninety percent of murders are committed by people of the same race. The, and I won't even go into the rest of the statistics because they'll be inflammatory. The, um, but we've been friends a long time and I want to continue that friendship. And we all get emotional and we all get upset. But I won't be intimidated by somebody being upset. And I don't care what gender they are and I don't care what race they are. We're going to conduct these meetings the way we're supposed to conduct these meetings. Anyone else? You know, I listen to the prosecutors, the sheriffs, and everybody else, and Senator Flowers, and I understand what she's saying. But I think they would agree with me that there are a lot of other factors that contribute to people killing one another other than a stand your ground law. For years and years, we've watched our, our family disintegrate. We've watched single mothers raising kids at home with no father, white and black. We've watched the drug ep epidemic that has completely changed the landscape of our whole society. It's changed people's, they're not even the same people they were before they started taking drugs. I know I just lost a young man up where I live because of drugs. All these murders and all these things are, are not the result of stand your ground laws or even law-abiding citizens who want to carry a weapon, they're not going out with the intent to kill someone. There's a, you know, the Bible says the heart is desperately wicked above all things. Who can know it? That's the big problem right there, is the heart. And we've got to start, you know, whether you've got a gun or not, we've, we've got to start caring more about one another. That would solve a lot of our problems. I'm done.